friends and welcome back to Amanda Muse. So I was recently sharing with you guys that I have been a co-sleeping parent for a very long time and I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. So today I'm going to share with you our current sleeping situation and what's changed because we've had a few changes around here. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you'll probably already know what I'm talking about. But basically I've been a co-sleeping family for a really long time and we kind of fell into co-sleeping with our first, our daughter, who's now five. And then and with Jack, my son, it just kind of, I figured, well, that's the way I'm doing it. And that was the easiest way for me. So we continued it and it worked and had been working for a really long time. I breastfed quite a long time, but anyways, fast forward to now, it just seemed like all of a sudden my five-year-old was back in the bed with me, husband got booted out and the three-year-old's in there. I just feel like we're kind of coming to the end of this whole co-sleeping situation as much as I love it. And it's great. It's not really needed anymore. You know, my little one isn't breastfeeding. He doesn't need that constant, you know, throughout the night comfort and I decided okay so warm weather is coming I've got some travel plans coming up where it's just me can you believe it oh my god I'm going somewhere which is exciting in and of itself for me to actually be going somewhere without the kids but the reality is is because I've been co-sleeping for so long I need to get them into a routine and a schedule where they can feel comfortable going to bed on their own in their own spaces so I was on the internet and I found a hack using an Ikea bunk bed. Well, actually it's an Ikea loft bed and you can actually convert it into a bunk bed. We also have that unique variable where our house is a little older and we have the kind of slanted roof situation. So we have something like a story and a half. Um, so we had that to play with because you can't just go and put a giant bunk bed in a house with a slanted roof because the person who's sleeping on the top bunk will bump their head you know, you can imagine. So we headed to Ikea, we bought some stuff, we put some stuff together. I thought I would show you what went down. So here's a little sneak peek. What's in these boxes, Esme? Bunk beds. Bunk beds. Well, Jack wants this moon right away. Yeah, Jackie and, got the moon, Esme and got I... the flower. Okay, okay so what I, I mean, there we got these mattresses. These were the most comfortable ones. These are the Meistervik. Um, they were the thicker we ones. We also got these for Jack. Yeah, what is this? It's like robot arms. Jack's pretty excited about that. So we'll leave those out for him. Yeah, okay, so classic. These are like the synthetic uh, twin Jack get to get bay. To I can't get out with stuff. Mattress covers. And I got oh, yeah. this. Okay, so this. Just go, to the, just go to the fun part. This light is very warm. So anyway. Go to the fun part. Okay, so this is one duvet cover. And so you got, it's like pink. Yeah, it's all pink, but... Pink triangles. With one yellow. With a golden one here and there. Super cute, light baby pink. They each got two duvet covers because so here's one. you never know when you have to change one in the night. And then yes, here, what, so what's this one? This is... Heart. Hearts. I love that the pillow is just a pink heart. It's so cute. And we okay, so each... Just, just move to the funness. <laughs> Got so that. she got a set of red sheets and green sheets, Christmas colors. I love those. Love it. At Christmas time, you can mix and match them. Uh, this. Oh yeah. So then here's Jack. Actually, you guys are gonna love it. So this is one of Jack's bed covers, which is robots, right? Robots and, and ghosts. Ghosts, vampires. Like he's just. I mean, could you get any more Jack, right? And you're, you are probably gonna know the Jacks. Get? Yeah, this is not a surprise, but I was surprised to see it. This is not a surprise. Jack is going, you guys, it's a skeleton. It's a skeleton body in your head, and your head is like, bizarre. The head? Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> I love it. So you're going to be a skeleton while you sleep. Yeah. You're not wearing a skeleton shirt. Because Jack wears that thing all the time. I mean, it's like perfect for Jack. Okay. Jack, this is... Jack's colors. Oh yeah, Jackie got blue, dark blue, and dark blue, light blue. So, lots of nice things. And the game plan, as you can see, putting all of this furniture together, is to have it so that both kids are sleeping in the same room. Um, this took a little bit of convincing on my part because my husband wasn't totally on board. We do have three bedrooms, and so there wasn't a need for space to actually have them in the same room. But my thought is that they have been co-sleeping for so long. You know, they're used to sleeping with the whole family and, and that comforting pack kind of thing going on. So I figured if I'm gonna get Jack into his own space, he's gonna need a buddy in there. And Esme feels like the big sister, you know, she's sort of comforting her little brother in the night. So we're gonna give it a go.
Thanks, Chief. My name is Evan! Spank me! Love you. Let me show you the final result. Check out their new space. I absolutely love it. Introduce me. We've got the awesome bed. Oh, hey, cool girl. Sometimes when mama cleans your room, she finds treasures like cool sunglasses. Hey, cool dude. Is that your bed? That's my skeleton bed. It's your skeleton Look bed. And who's my bed? I love it. Hearts, hearts, hearts. I love hearts. Hearts, hearts love and a Get flower. it? Love hearts. Love it. Hands up, baby, hands up. Give me your heart. Give me, give me your heart, baby, baby. Hands <laughs> I up. Get it. Baby, hands up. <laughs> Thanks for dancing to my song. So. Wanna see what's on Hands mine? up. <laughs> Then we have the dresser. Now we've got plans where this summer Dean's gonna open up this part of the of our attic because you, you can tell this is a, I'll put you here, it's a sloped roof, right? Which means there is space in there. So there's an entry point in there in the closet, but we're gonna open it up and then we can get rid of this thing and it's gonna be a closet space in there. Maybe with a sliding door, maybe with an opening door, we'll figure it out, but anyway, that's what's coming there. Oh, and then we have here, this is their uh, bookshelf. Actually, I totally picked this off a corner on garbage day one time, whoops. But it's the perfect like narrow bookcase, so they can still have space in between here, but we have Esme's kind of area here, and then and there, books there. that we like. I also downsized all of these books the, uh, yesterday, and then of course Jack's little corner. And then we're hoping to keep that nice and tidy. Um, and then the other thing is just the closet space, which let's be honest, it's an older tiny house. <laughs> It's an older house, and so Esme has, you know, all sorts of fancy dress items, and then Jack has a couple of dress-up items. As you can see, I did a bunch of downsizing. I went con Marie, con Marie. I basically con Marie the crap out of their space, which, if you're not sure what that is, that's the whole Japanese art of tidying up. I am all about that life. Um, and we've kept only the things that have special value to them, and everything else has been donated and thrown away, like it's out of the house, which is incredible. I got rid of seven garbage bags that day. That's incredible. Not just out of her space, but I also went through the bathroom and some other toys that were hiding around our house. So it felt real good. So this was just like late last week and we've done, Esme's done three nights in her own bed. So she started every night in her own bed and then woke up two nights and kind of snuggled in with me and I was just too tired to deal. But now what I find is that Jack is struggling to go to bed in his new bed. So I let him fall asleep in my bed, carry him to his bed. And then when he wakes up in the night, cause usually he wakes up at least once, I now I'm trying to convince myself to like wake up and go into his bed and put him back in his bed just that he gets used to sleeping in his own space. And so last night that happened, fell asleep in my bed, put him back in his bed, <laughs> bed, bed, bed. And then um, in the middle of the night, I ended up falling asleep though. That's the trouble, right? Because you know, if you're trying to sleep train your kids, it can be challenging. So I did fall asleep in the bed with him and I woke up in a twin bed, which is like not ideal. Esme on the other hand is still super pumped about her new space. And I find that the lights on the wall and the new little trinkets, like their new bedding and all of that has really made it an exciting event. Um, and then we do have plans uh, when the weather gets a little bit warmer to paint the walls and really make it their own. Cause right now it's, it's a purple room with purple walls and purple curtains. Cause it was definitely a room meant for Esme. But since they are sharing, I want to have some things in there that get Jack excited so stay tuned for an update there and if you have any tips like if you have done this like transition from co-sleeping to their own space leave me the comments below um, I'm struggling a little bit with keeping Jack in there and getting him excited about it um, and I would love your pointers and actually on Tuesday I'm gonna be having a Facebook live with a sleep expert and I'm super excited because I just need I need some tips and also I could use some tips for myself because I am not getting enough sleep and I'm feeling rough because that's the trouble right like co-sleeping has worked and we've all been getting tons of sleep but now that we're switching it up I'm pretty tired so yeah it's hard man when you haven't been waking up frequently in the night like that 
whew, to go back to it, it's no joke. So that's the update there. Hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I will see you again on Sunday with another video. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.